Welcome to the Ricolti Education Center. Um, this is part of the digital photography class that I teach. My name is Michael Langdon. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, do some resizing and some cropping in a program that I like to use called Earthen View. So this is Earthen View right here. And in, uh, in the last lesson, we downloaded it and installed it. So now I'm just going to double click on it. I'm going to open it. And so here is Earthen View. And what we're going to do is we're going to open a file. And I've already downloaded this file. It's called Cone Nebula. And if I click on it once, you'll see it highlights it in blue. And then it actually shows you a preview here. Now, if you can't find it right away, you'll notice that I found it right away. If you click right here, you'll see that you get this drop down of all the areas on your computer. And most of the time, you'll find your pictures under My Documents and my pictures and here like here are some exam our sample pictures okay now if you want to see what these pictures are going to look like all you have to do is come over here and click and you can go thumbnails and then you'll actually see what your pictures look like there now I'm gonna go back to that cone one which is on my desktop so I'm just gonna click here and it takes me to my desktop and because I have thumbnails already selected you can see that it shows up here you'll also see that it tells me the width the height, the color, and the size of the RAM size it's using. That means how much memory, working memory it's using, and then how much storage memory it requires. So how much space it's going to take up on the hard drive. And so this is a 10 megabyte file. It's very large. It's going to be actually larger than my desktop, which is only 1024 by 768. So I'm going to click open. And it brings it up in Earthen View. Um, however, you will notice down here that this is only 17%. Okay, so we're only seeing we're seeing an image that's been reduced by approximately 83%. So that this isn't the full image. So if I wanted to, I can come up to view here and I can go to display options and I can go fit wim fit window to image. And if I click on that, you'll see what happens here that it, it fills out the whole screen and now there's scroll bars over here because this is a, a the whole image okay so you it's hard to see here because it is so large and a lot of your pictures uh, with especially newer digital cameras will end up like this where it's a very large resolution and this would be very difficult to email to someone because it's 10 megabytes in size most email systems won't let you email an image that large. Not only that, but it'll be difficult for the person you're sending it to to see it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and I'm going to first I'm going to resize this image. And that's pretty simple to do. You click image and you can come down to here to resize, resample. And you can see that we can reset um, how big our image is going to be. So one of the things we li I like to make sure people do is make sure you have the preserve aspect ratio check marked so that if we change the width, the height will change automatically so that our image isn't distorted. Now I've always found it easy just to click the half button and you can see that our current size is this, but our new size will be 1845 by 1872. And then if I click half again, the new size will be 922 by 936. So now if I click OK, you'll see that this brings it down much better. It's actually at 100% now. It doesn't all quite fit on the height of our screen, but that's OK. Now if I was going to email this, I might want to reduce it down further. Um, you'll see that this is 922. If I click half again, you'll see how much smaller it gets. So this is almost a better uh, image. For emailing, so uh, for emailing, you want anything from about 800 by 600, so 800 for the width, 600 by the height, um, and down. Okay, the higher the number, the more, uh, the more space, the larger it's going to be. So here I've reduced this in size. Now I also want to crop it, and cropping an Earthen View is very easy. You just take your pointer and you click and hold down your mouse button, your left mouse button, and you drag this box across. 
and then when you got your box done you can release you can also make adjustments to this box you'll see if I come down to the corner I can click and drag it down I can click and drag it in so I can adjust the size of this if I want to crop this I just come up to edit and crop selection and you can see that now it's reduced in size so that's just a few things how to resize and resample an image and then how to crop the image now if I save this image so I'll just go save as and I'm going to pick JPEG because that's a good format for photographs especially if you're going to uh, email them and I'm just gonna click uh, hold on I'm gonna put this on the desktop I'm gonna name it the Conebula 2 because I already have one named Conebula and click Save okay so here it is right here so now if we right click on this and click properties you'll see that the size of this is only to about 12k okay so 12 kilobytes uh, that's like like a uh, less than one percent of the original size of 10 megabytes so you can see what a difference resizing and resampling and cropping can make with the image side this is now very small in size so I'll just click OK here so that's Earthen View and uh, I'll be coming out with more to show you what more you can do with Earthen View thanks bye